Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hey, I'm Anthony Nielsen, editor here at Twit, and I'll be reviewing the Lomography Smartphone Film Scanner. The film scanner, as you might have guessed, lets you digitize all your 35mm negatives and slides directly to your smartphone. The device itself is pretty straightforward. The base consists of a light panel powered by two AA batteries, a mount for your smartphone, and three stacks to adjust the distance between your phone's lens and the base. To scan, turn the power on and begin feeding your film through the bottom slot, turning the wheel to pull it through. Mount your smartphone with its lens centered on the viewport and attach to the base. The rest is on the phone, launch the app, and you'll see it has a few modes. One for regular 35mm shots, Lomo Kino for scanning movie shot on the Lomo Kino, and panoramic for stitching together shots. In regular mode, you'll see it's pretty bare bones. You can zoom in, crop, and has a few filters. Then you just snap the picture. The problem I've had with this app is its lack of control with exposure and white balance. So I suggest going with a different camera app with better control like 645 Pro, and then bring the image into a different app like Photoshop and do all your adjustments there. Pros and cons. Pros, it's really easy to use. Photos look really cool if you're into the analog look. You'll see vignetting, grain, and other distortions. And it's small and portable. You can pretty much throw it in your backpack and forget about it. Cons, the app really sucks currently. It's buggy and lacks fine control. It doesn't fit slides. You'll have to remove the film from the frame. And poor image quality. The resolution and quality is not where you're going to get from a true film scanner. Once you crop the photo, the image ends up being about one megapixel. Try, buy, don't buy. For me, this is not a buy. I had a lot of fun scanning my photos, but the cost is too steep for what essentially is a toy. And it's definitely not for those looking to archive all their old photos. I'm Anthony Nilsson, and this is my review of the Lomography Smartphone Film Scanner.